Houston Health Department reported a ninefold increase in congenital syphilis cases in 2023 and a 128% increase in cases among women since 2019. Chief Medical Officer Dr. David Purse is here with us to explain. Good morning, Dr. Purse. I know that, yeah, for years we've been talking about the rise in syphilis. Explain what is congenital syphilis. So syphilis is a bacteria. It's caused by a bacteria called Treponinum pallidum. Uh, not something you hear all the time, but I think a lot of people are familiar with the term syphilis. And it is a bacterium. It is spread generally through sexual contact. The thing about syphilis is that when you're infected with it, it goes through different stages. It's a primary, secondary, a latent, and then the final stage is tertiary. And they have different signs and symptoms. So primary syphilis, you're going to get a sore. It's going to be a skin lesion, and it's going to look like it should be really painful. But here's the thing. It's not painful. And that's a key thing for people to understand. If you get a mm -hmm. sore, uh, generally in an area where you were, where the bacteria again, so there's going to be a sexual contact area. It's going to look like it should be something very, very painful, and it's not. So that's primary syphilis. Uh -huh. Secondary syphilis occurs just a few weeks later. That sore will heal, and then a few weeks later, you're going to get a skin rash, and it can be all over your body, but one of the key things about this rash is you'll get it on the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Those are places we don't usually get rashes, so that's another red flag to pay attention to and go and seek help. Then there's a latent period, and this is where it's quiet, you're not infectious, you have no symptoms, and it can last for decades, for many, many, many years. Somebody could have latent syphilis while it's brewing inside your body, but eventually it will generally come out in that what's called tertiary syphilis, and this is the worst part because this is where any organ system in your body can be impacted, your brain, your spinal cord, people lose their vision, they become deaf, they have all kinds of intestinal problems with it. When it comes back as tertiary syphilis, it can be just devastating and it can be fatal. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you look back in history, many famous people back in, in before before antibiotics were available died from syphilis because it was so widespread. And as you point out, we've had a huge increase, really going back to about 2016, mm -hmm. um, across the United States, basically an exponential rise in syphilis cases. And congenital syphilis is when mom infects the baby, and that's ah. congenital syphilis. Okay, so then that, that's what I was about to ask.